Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Thanks for joining me. This is Saturday today and welcome. This is CMG Talk and this is Catherine Gallagher. I'd like to talk about how we can lighten the load of mental health and strain, whether it's to do with anxiety, stress or worry thoughts. And often when I talk to people in trainings, events or in conversations, And they talk about the build-up of the pressure, the stress, the strain, the worry thoughts, the overwhelming pressures that they might have. They often talk about feeling burdened, weighted down, that there's a load that they're carrying. And I ask them, how do you lighten that? And sometimes they say, I don't know. I say, yes, you do. Because if you look within ourselves, the answer's there. We need to trust in the process, trust that we have the solution. If you look around in your life just now and think about the things that you feel heavy about, things that you feel weighted down with, things that maybe you're struggling or worrying about, ask yourself, are there your things to worry about or is it someone else's worry that you're carrying around with you? Sometimes we worry about family and friends and what's going on with them. Our job is not to carry that. Our job is to be available to offer support and to remind them that we believe in them, that they've got this. Our job is not to make ourselves unwell by stress and strain and worry because we're not good to people if we make ourselves unwell. Does that make sense? A kind thought, a small gesture, that makes all the difference to other people. If you think about the things that can weight us down, the things that can be heavy loads for us, if you think about lightening that, what would it be that you would be maybe looking at now or in the past that you've struggled with? Sometimes people say it's an environment thing, right? There's a lot of clutter There's a lot of things around me. I want to lighten that. I have a neighbour at the moment who has one of these recycling vans that comes around and takes away things. And they were saying that it's about recycling, it's about moving things on because... They're trying to get back in control of what's going on around their environment. We can feel a sense of accomplishment. We can feel a sense of, you know, success. We can feel good when we've managed to accomplish things, whether it's cutting the grass or whether it's cleaning up, whether it's moving and decluttering and recycling clothes. Lightening that heavy load can be so important. It might also be that conversation we've avoided having. How many times have we had an angry word, a look in exchange, a thought that was shared, unfiltered? And it's went from a moment to a day, maybe to a week, maybe even longer to a month, sometimes years have gone by and it just hasn't been resolved. You see, we never know how long we have. Life can be so precious and so short. Sometimes lightening that and having that conversation can be such a mammoth task. And yet, when we do that, We can sense that we have had an unburdening. But here's the thing. If we're having a conversation with someone, whether it's a written conversation, whether it's texting, whether it's a phone call or face-to-face, whoever we're having a conversation with, in any circumstance, people don't have to like it, they don't have to agree with it, they don't have to receive it. And we need to remember that. 
It always makes me smile when somebody messages me or calls me and I can't maybe answer straight away. And I get maybe a text back within a second saying, did you receive my text? Did you receive my call? And I might be exceptionally busy. I might also be having a break. (laughs) I might be on holiday on a day off. But often people don't figure that in. They don't take the time, step back and filter. We have the right to choose whether to respond or not. However, often we're brought up to believe that it's not nice not to respond and it's unkind and we should always respond. But it's responding if you choose to, if you want to, and not everybody does. And we have to give people the option. If you message someone, you're going into their space. Just as someone messages you, they're coming into your space. And sometimes it's uninvited. So if there's been an argument, a disagreement or a misunderstanding and you message someone, sometimes we have to give people that time in that space to make sense of. And they might decide not to receive it. And that's their choice. It can feel hurtful, it can feel disrespectful. However, if we do contact or reach someone and reach out to them, if we're doing it for the right reason, that is, we're doing it for ourselves. whatever happens after that, we understand we've no control over. So sometimes doing it for ourselves is enough. If you make that the purpose, I'm doing it because it's the right thing for me, it's the right time for me, I want to make sure that the person knows I respect them, I care about them, I miss them, I want to clear things up, I want to share what's happened and my thoughts, I want to reach out to someone and not put their back up against a wall Because nobody likes to lose face. Nobody likes to feel that they're being attacked verbally or emotionally. So it's important to give someone that perhaps you're not aware. But when this happened, I feel there was a misunderstanding. You might not think that or feel that perhaps. I just want to say that time has passed And I do care about you. I do miss you. However you want to phrase a conversation. I understand this has come at a time where time has passed. And whether you choose to respond, I'm going to leave that with you. I want to respect that this is your choice. But I just needed to let you know that I'm thinking about you. And I wish you all the best. Lightening that emotional stress and strain can be so important. Often people don't do that because they don't want to lose face. They don't want to feel embarrassed. They don't want to face rejection. All human emotions and feelings. But sometimes what we're doing is we're missing out on opportunities. As we say, we don't know how long we've got in life. Sometimes it comes too late and we can't reach out to people because I'm not here anymore. Lightening what weighs us down, whatever that is. It can be an environment where we feel it's too cluttered or it can be that there's not enough there and we feel that we're not gaining enough or progressing enough. It can be that it's our mindset where we're constantly sabotaging and ruminating and dwelling on things. It could be a lot of things. Think about your life and what you tend to find weighs you down. How do you lighten that? 
Do you get practical? Do you write a journal? Do you write the pros and cons of what to do? Do you write down a strategy? Do you follow through on it? Do you take action? Or do you procrastinate, put off, dwell on it, ruminate, get stuck on it? Do you repeat the same behaviours? And life keeps giving you opportunities to make different choices, to make the difference. Think about how you can move forward. And if it's a mindset thing and we're wanting to change how we look at things in a different, better way, we want to be more pragmatic. We want to be able to see things in a a lighter way. We want to be able to see things in a more optimistic way, then we have to make a choice to do that. Happiness is a choice. Optimism is a choice. Practicing being grateful for the small things that come our way every day. Having a conversation and being grateful that you've had that conversation. Catching the transport you wanted to get or being able to get parked or having a lovely coffee or a break with someone or somebody smiling and waving to you the small things every day when you notice and pay attention your brain starts then looking at things that work for you that builds your emotional state and your resilience grounding yourself with your senses five things I see Four things I hear, three things I touch, two things I smell, one thing I taste. Keeping yourself orientated, being fully present, having conversations with people and being present rather than getting distracted. Being present with your eating so that you're not gobbling your food down. (laughs) Right? Being present and enjoying the here and now and not worrying all the time about ten things ahead. And learning to take more positive, constructive action. Lightening the heavy loads we carry in life, emotional, psychological or physical. And learning how to deal with those, with goals, with structure, with action. Helps our mental, emotional and physical state lifts us, gives us tolerance, gives us resilience and allows us to live our life more fruitfully, more optimally and more healthily. Thanks for listening. And in that lighter note, (laughs) have a wonderful Saturday. Whether you're off at the weekend or not, enjoy the time that you have. And thanks for coming on and joining my podcast today. This is CMG Talk. This is Catherine Gallagher. Like, share and download the podcast. Remember, there are lots of sessions here that you can go back and review. And there are lots of strategies and tools in this podcast. Take care and remember, you can always join me in my trainings. If you want to know more about them, go on to my website at stepup cmg.com All the best and take care until next time. Bye for now. See you next weekend.